it matters because black history is American history. What's going on, everybody? It's your girl Kyra here, interpreter of African American history and culture, motivational and spiritual speaker. And honey, today is February 1st, the first day of Black History Month. Hey, and y'all know I'm going to be coming every day with some history for you all because this is the Black History Report. So y'all stay tuned and check out this good juicy video. A lot of people may ask the question, what is Black History? And then you have some people that may ask the question, well, why does it even matter? It matters because Black History is American history. See, a lot of times since black history is not being taught in the very school districts that are supposed to be educating our children, a lot of people say that, well, it happened in the past. Let's get over it. So did George Washington being elected president. So did Christopher Columbus supposedly discovering America. But black history is the very fabric that holds this country together. When you look at it throughout countless generations and throughout the years of time, from Crispus Attucks being one of the first, if not the first, soldier to die in the Revolutionary War. If we go throughout history, we'll notice that all of these great people, from Frederick Douglass to Harriet Tubman, as we move throughout history, we'll see that these great freedom fighters that was fighting to be seen as human after slavery came to an end, in 1865. We moved throughout history seeing how during Reconstruction, black people had some hope, but very little, because a new fear, a new system that they were going to be met with after 400 years of backbreaking work, not being paid one red cent from being raped on the plantations, countless women giving birth to babies that are fathered by their slave masters. As we move throughout history and we see women like Harriet Tubman taking 400 people through the Underground Railroad to people like Sojourner Truth saying, ain't I a woman too, declaring her womanhood as a black woman or a lot of historical figures like nat turner who said that i too will be free and i'll do it even if it costs me my life or you have people that are like frederick Douglass, who asked why we will celebrate the fourth of july because as black people america was free in 1776 but blacks were still bent over in cotton fields picking 300 pounds jim crow is introduced in 1896, after Plessy versus Ferguson. And what it declared was that all accommodations were supposed to be separate but equal. But if you were truly a citizen and a resident of the Southern states and the region of this country, the United States of America, honey, everything was truly separated. But as my grandmother would say, nothing was free. Throughout the next 50 to 60 years, black people would encounter some of the most hateful ridicule that a person could ever endure racial violence with over 2,000 lynchings having occurred during this time period. Not to mention that black people are struggling financially. Now, even though we had a few that were very well off and successful, because when you got women like Madam C.J. Walker, formerly known as one of the greatest hair makers and hairdressers of our time, Madam C.J. Walker became a self-made millionaire after she decided that, you know what? She was gonna help those black women stop from going bald. Became the first self-made millionaire. And I noticed I didn't say first black, first self-made millionaire. Then you have so many other people that are making their way through. Woo! See, a lot of these figures in the entertainment industry, like Dorothy Dandry, first black woman to be nominated for an Academy Award. Or a lot of these black men, like Harry Belafonte and the late Sidney Poitier, who just recently passed, becoming some of the first to win an Oscar for their roles in films such as Lilies of the Field, and so many others back in the day. I encourage each of you to tune in every single day during the month of February and check out the Black History Report because we're gonna be talking about so many of these great historical figures and great historical moments. Because even though in the 1920s and the 1930s, black people started to make their way on the entertainment scene, black people were also being strung up on trees. Billie Holiday sung a very moving and touching song called Strange Fruit that was speaking about the racial violence that black people were facing here in this country. What we will notice then though, is that for a lot of people, they began fighting back in different ways. On August 28th, 1955, 14 year old Emmett Lewis Till was brutally murdered and killed by J.W. Milam and Roy Bryan for wolf whistling at a white woman in Monday, Mississippi. A few months later on December 1st, 1955, Ms. Rosa Parks refused to give up her seat on the bus 
And this woman said that she had Emmett Till on her mind. After this happened, ladies and gentlemen, Dr. King, the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. would make his birth in the civil rights movement and he became the leader of this movement in Montgomery. But it wasn't just him. It took hundreds, dozens of people to make that boycott successful, especially the black women's sisters. I'm gonna get into that because we're gonna talk about the boycott one day throughout this month. The Montgomery bus boycott gave birth to the civil rights movement. And for the next 13 years, people like Dr. King, Minister Malcolm X, Rosa Parks, you have so many other greats, Fannie Lou Hamer, Bob Moses, Dave Dennis, so many phenomenal people. Amelia Boynton, John Lewis, Reverend Hosea Williams, Medgar Evers, Marley Evers, Coretta Scott King, Betty Shabazz. You have countless dozens of people that are gonna be fighting against the new chains of bondage, the system called Jim Crow. This video, ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to introduce to you all what black history was. Black history is the very history that tells us who we are. And it makes us remember why we should be so proud of where we come from. See, we come from great African civilizations, from great African tribes. Great African kings like Shaka Zulu and Mansa Musa existed, or beautiful black queens like Queen Nefertiti. Not to mention that so many other phenomenal black men and women. We come from an era of grace and beauty. Look at all of these great African kings and queens and just the ordinary people that lived in those villages. They carried themselves with pride. They carried themselves with dignity. They ate right. <laughs> now, you know, a lot of y'all may be wondering too why I'm wearing this little beret here. It is to give honor to the Black Panther Party. And that's what I'll be doing all week. You'll be seeing me rock this look all week to pay tribute to the Black Panther Party. Definitely want to give a special shout out to one of my favorite Black Panthers, Miss Kathleen Cleaver. Represent ma'am. Okay, but I just wanted to come and give an intro video. That's what today really was. And you know, you're gonna be seeing so many great things. And tomorrow we're gonna be coming with a special presentation. We're gonna be talking about different moments of history. And tomorrow we're gonna really zone in on talking about Africa and why we should be so proud. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you all have enjoyed this intro video. If you all did, or if there's any subjects, people, things, events that you all would like me to touch on or talk about, drop it in the comment section down below. It's Black History Month, y'all, and we turning up. We turning up all month, y'all. We turning up all month. Y'all be easy. Remember what your girl always say. Remember to always to stay up and to also stay blessed. Peace be unto you, my brothers and sisters, and may you all enjoy Black History Month in its entirety. Y'all have a good one.